I've forgotten all my buttons. All my hotkeys. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? There we go. <laughs> I forgot what all my hotkeys were. <laughs> Hello, Foxtrot. How goes it? Late shift with Fallout. I hope your shift goes quickly and easily. Alex, hello. Welcome. <clears throat> I kind of don't remember where we left off. <laughs> Even though this was literally yesterday. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Did we stream yesterday? God, I just... I've been having such a hard time remembering. Oh, yes. Okay. I had the uh, the radio on briefly because I did pop into the game um, to do some selling. I did some buying and selling uh, just to get some of my inventory a little bit more under control. So now we're a little bit better. Dude, no! 18 hour shift? I'm so sorry that's not going well. Oh my gosh. Brain not braining? Have y'all seen that video? That's like... Brain not braining. Work not working. All eyes always watering. Mouth always eating. <laughs> it's... My partner and I quote it literally every day. <laughs> but I am so sorry to hear that because that sounds terrible. I can barely do an eight hour shift these days at an office um, with just, uh, you know, how freaking exhausted I am these days. Ooh. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Um, how do I play this game? There we go. <laughs> That's right, we went to the Repcon headquarters. Oh, and I was going to explore the Repcon headquarters. That's right. Finishing up work. Ooh, some mod coding. Is that for Stalker? That's exciting. The Feast of Sacrifice in Turkey tomorrow. That sounds interesting. Is that a is that like a national holiday sort of thing? Oh, well, please don't. Okay. Gosh, it is a beautiful day in the wasteland. Holy cow. Looking for a drop box. I got a key or something from uh, a legion from Antari. Drop box. Oh, wait. Am I going the right way? No, I, I immediately went the wrong way. <laughs> I picked up a little bit more ammo. Let's see. Lots of 10 mil. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, okay. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, that's cool, Foxtrap. nice indeed. I'm not I'm not at all familiar with uh Turkey the country. I was going to try to say something more intelligent than that, but then I got distracted by the sky looking pretty. Um so that's where you can tell my brain is that I took like a really thick nap. Like I, as soon as I got home from work, I fell asleep in bed. And, uh, just, like, passed out. So my brain is still kind of waking up. <laughs> Where is this drop box? Finish all 13 of the designs for social media about it. Dude. Good luck, my friend. Get yourself some caffeine if that's your jam. I... 
as much as I loved doing graphic design, I am, I don't think I could do it freelance. I, I have a friend actually who was <clears throat> doing freelance graphic design up until recently. And it just like wrecked her with how often she had to just take super long work days like you've been doing and just like be on call for clients and all this stuff. It's, it's rough. It's really rough. Oh, neat. Okay, so the drop box is literally just here and it just gives me Legion money. That's fair. Um, boom! <laughs> Ooh, cool, I'm good, I'm fine, that's fine. All right. <laughs> remote, remote job in a company based in Turkey. And we're job hunting. Oh, that's cool. I think the hours might be kind of whack for somebody living in the US. Unless you can choose your own hours, and then in which case that would be. He's <laughs> a jump scare. I know, that really got me. <laughs> okay, well, I have that, which is cool. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Repcon because I actually did want to explore that spot. Two stories, two four stories, two animations, and several general purpose videos. Good luck, my friend. Good luck indeed. That is that is extremely rough. There's a lot to do in a very short period of time. Mess economy going down the last 20 years. Oh wow, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm not at all familiar. Okay, now I think we did talk to Arcade when we were here, right? What's up? Okay. I'm not fully remembering how to activate his quest at the mo- Oh yeah, I like came in here and I dropped a bunch of cred. Am I locked out? Yes, I'm locked out. Okay. Sort of remembering what I did here. So I already looted this place. Okay. I think we should be okay. Um, oh, I could also do... Okay, so basically... The way this dungeon works is... You go through the back and then up the but stairs. We can't expect God to do all the work. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> it's true. We can't. We can't expect God to do all the work. That's why we have to. Authorized facial pattern detected. Valid security badge detected. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Exactly. That's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> um. But yeah, basically this is just the Skyrim exit. This is just the back door to uh, to the end of the dungeon. So technically we could do both of these. Um, I don't know if I want to. I could try. I don't think I ever do very hard hacking ever in this game. Oh, you got your mod working. What exactly is it that you've been working on? That is very exciting. It's not ING. Reprimanding. Reprimanding. Transmission. Let's go. Everyone in Stalker carries a PDA. There's an RF receiver de device that lets you pick up- Oh, I remember you mentioning this. Picking a mod that lets you pick up the RF interferences from the cellular signals of nearby PDAs. That is one of the most niche things I've ever heard. <laughs> because it's like totally and completely um, just stalker related like you I, I couldn't even begin to uh mistake that for some other game that is so much fun 
I love that, Alex. That is so exciting. Isn't it so satisfying when something you've been working on finally works the way you want it to? So the end of this dungeon is great because you get this super kick-ass gun. Um, which I would love it to show someday. There it is. I'm not using energy weapons, so I think I'm just going to give this to Arcade, and hopefully he'll be happy. He keeps telling me he's like, needs a better weapon, needs a better weapon. Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? Like, girl, I gave you so many weapons, all right? Make it work. <laughs> um, and then I think at this point, I think we could just go backwards, although I don't know if there's too much of a point to going backwards in the dungeon here. Oh, you know what's fun that I don't think I've ever shown off? Oh, hey. Hard locked door. There we go. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day oh. at work today. That's cool. They think I'm Mrs. Millet. That's nice. I sort of didn't think that that would still be working, but whatever. Good old fashioned looting. Please just give me all the things to sell. I need all the monies. Oh, is that right, Alex? Okay. Wow, that is like so beyond anything that I <laughs> am familiar with at all. Trees. Let's go. Hacking genius. Encrypted message. Good day, Mrs. Ma Miss Masters. I've managed to get the password to Easley's computer. Isley's? I'll forward it to you with the release notes for the Q35. The prototype is doing... Nope. Is going to be <laughs> stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. Should be able to intercept it on the road. Ooh, they were planning on stealing the gun. Quantum plasma modulation matter injection rifle. Version 23. Status failure. Notes. When version 32 didn't have the power yield of version 31 or 30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising. However, we still have yet to come with a solution for the matter invasion issues. Oh no! Version 33. Status. Failure. Notes. Lab destroyed. Data lost. Version 34. Status. Failure. Notes. Interesting. I'm not sure where we got this data from, but it is a completely different direction from when, what we've been working on. We managed to cycle the matter inversion using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. I wonder where this, like if there's any other notes about this. Because to me, when I read this, I think aliens. <laughs> oh, fifth jug of coffee. Hang in there, Foxtrot. You can do it. And then, of course, version 35 is the success. The data we received from... Oh! From Jean? J Juan? Is that how you say that name? Juan? Did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we have been wor a working prototype. We should be better be able to get these issues resolved in a later build. As you requested here, are the improvements. Okay, interesting. So maybe the fact that it's uh, kind of like a Chinese name, maybe that is kind of implies that the Chinese government could have been involved or some kind of Chinese spy. Okay. Leonard Steeple, Vice President. Julia, I'm sure you have heard by now that Robco's intentions to buy out our company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped the you helped me rally the board in order to keep Repcon autonomous. I'd like your help again with Robco. 
Beers claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover if we won't sell willingly. I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. Interesting. I think, didn't we learn that Robcon did inevitably get taken over by Robco? I stand with you, Leo. Give me a few days to try to gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you are right. We can fight this. You were right. Leo sent me a message last night. We've made the call to the board. I think that the numbers we're looking at pocketing from Robco deal will have no trouble getting the board to vote. No confidence on him. Okay, so Miss Masters was sort of a agent within the company. Very interesting. And I'm making her own play. Oh, good lord. Me takes exactly one stake. Also me, immediately cannot move my legs. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I will take all of this bread though. I can sell that for some Monet. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> so scary! That is so scary, but like literally that's so... That's in like the perfect position. As soon as you come up to this floor. Oh, just a lot of bathrooms. It's my duty, as it were, to open all of these. Ooh, I think this might be the CEO office. It's big, so. Look at how gigantic this is. <laughs> Look at how gigantic that poster is. Third floor access is for executives oh. only. Please identify. Okay, this is one of my favorite uh, speech, or not speech checks, but one of my favorite checks in the game. Literally, this this access code could be anything. And if you have luck of seven, you just guess ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> How good is that? You'd think that that would be like a luck 10 situation, because who in the freaking world would guess ice cream? But... So funny. All right. I think we can do this. I think we can, we can hack this. Recuperating. Ooh, that might be an IMG. Okay. Quarter staff. Conversation. Infiltration. Brainwashing. Reprimanding. Let's go. Love all of those uh, words, by the way. That that feels very appropriate for Repcon slash Robco. Leo, it's good to have you back in the office. I hope Lisa is feeling better as well. There was a nasty bug going around. Hopefully the kids didn't catch it. Either way, it's good to have you back in the office. While you were out of the office, I met with some executives at Robco. They're very interested in the potential that our organization has been showing and are, marketing, are making an excellent offer to buy out. I'll have one of my assistants run over with the draft that they gave me. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. Okay, so we know that, was it Pierce? Pierce Isley was working with Julia Masters, but then of course Leonard was n is not interested, um, and he's the VP. I have no interest in selling my portion of the company to Robco. We went over this with Poseidon. These companies deal in defense contracts. That's what they're about, and it isn't something that I'm willing to support. I'm sending back the package. I'm sure that you have a fairly solid idea where I think you can put it. Yours truly, Leonard. To Leonard from Piers. Leo, I have heard more from my contacts over at Robco. It sounds like they've already started buying out uh, some of our public shares. 
with just a little bit of support, our stockholders and board members. Communist engaged. Oh my lord. Hi, <laughs> <I> Sage. <laughs> Welcome. How's it going? Oh lord. I need more Liberty Prime sound bites because they're hilarious. How you doing, Sage? Uh, with just a little bit of support from our stockholders and board members, it is not inconceivable that this amicable relationship could turn very hostile. The timing. Mean. <laughs> it is in everyone's best interest if we take this deal while it's still sweet. I don't think that this will, it'll stay this way for long. Drama. From Juan Dong, senior staff engineer from Carl Rook. Juan, one of my best contacts at Poseidon Energy, found the specs for the cancelled seam, seam, seamal? Plasma rifle. I'm sending them over to your team. From what I can tell, I've managed to resolve the matter conversion. Oh, interesting. Wait, I thought Leonard was the vice president. Did the VP change, maybe? Didn't you have multiple vice presidents? I don't know how this stuff works. Hi, Bilbo. Oh, I just realized Bilbo hasn't had dinner. Hold on. Boy, he just wants to follow me around. It's very cute. Alright. Uh, from what I can tell, they've managed to the matter conversion. Issue you've been having with the Heisenberg compensation field combined with the data from the sabotaged launch. I think you could have everything you need to complete the Q35. Colonel Moretti is expecting results from the project. I don't need to tell you what a favorable evaluation from his desk will do for all of our stock portfolios. Okay. Very cool. Very interesting. Okay, so a fun thing here. If you don't have the luck to deal with this guy, but you do have the science, you can hack into the terminal and turn off the security robots because what happens is if you come in... Um, Ooh, security card. And pre-war money, let's go. If you come in and you can't pass this check, you have like 30 seconds to get out before um, the place turns on you. Ooh! The patrol Lorenzo mentioned is dead. Perhaps something is useful. Oh, interesting. Okay. I actually, I forgot. We, uh... Oh man, I forgot we even had that mission for Edie. Oh, okay, so that's fun. There was a password in one of the Brotherhood corpses. Perhaps it could be used to bring Edie to Lorenzo. So we have Edie, my love, activated. And because we haven't worked with the Veronica yet, which I do want to do this stream if possible, um, we haven't even been to Hidden Valley. We don't even know like that the brotherhood exists really like we do but we really don't um i there's no way i can this is so heavy i'm not even gonna try <laughs> okay nikola tesla and me Tons of water. Just wear it. I don't think I can. You have to have power armor training. Yeah, I can't wear it. In Fallout 4, you don't need the power armor training. But in 3 and New Vegas, you do.
Don't get stuck, Arcade. Okay, so this is Isley's computer from Carl Rook. Hello, peers. Now that things have been set in motion, I'm going to be your liaison at point of handling with Robco. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like maybe they got rid of Leonard as VP and then hired Carl Rook. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition with the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you know, Robco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Ripcon will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreet <laughs> discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. Oops. To Steve from Piers. Steve, can you send an email out to your engineers reminding them about our security policies? I'll be sending a message next week. So that's basically just the essentially the in-game reason for all the robots everywhere. Alright. I want to say there's another skill book somewhere around here. Let's see. Oh, Holly, thank you for the bits! Big love. Ah! Okay, cool. So all the robots are disabled. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's see if I can't find... I'm sure there's another skill book in here. I just... I feel like I remember there. Bar? I remember there being one. Oh! I'll always take a star bottle cap. Security card that I don't need, but feel compelled to take. Decimating. It's not ING. Lieutenant, let's go. <laughs> Yar, there be loot. It's not even loot that I need. <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. So I could get a security badge through here. That's cool. Oh, Leonard Steeple has quote unquote stepped down from his position at Ripcon. Okay. Yeah, so this confirms what we were thinking. Basically, they got Leonard out of there because he wasn't in on siding with Robco or selling out to Robco even. Okay, that's where I came from. These hallways can be a little bit um, <laughs> difficult. <laughs> here we go. I knew there was another skill book in here. Rod. I thought that said poo. Okay, so this is just another, another, yet another way to get kind of through the, uh, the security. So. Oops. Okay, so this is just more drama about them moving forward with the, uh, assimilation of the company. Okay. So then, okay, this will take us back to the main. Perfect. Hello. That's all we need, really, because we've already been through the whole thing. So, yeah. 
Ooh, it's very dark. Okay. This seems like as good a time as any to go over to the gun runners and sell some crud. I do still need to talk to Isaac, wherever the heck he is. Sure, just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? I don't know if he's gonna use the stuff that I gave him. Welcome, sir. Hello. Okay. And then from here, we can decide what else we want to do. Um, I don't need the NCR money. I sell no. extra alcohol that I don't need. I'm gonna wait for a bit and see if Isaac shows up because I do need to talk to him on Contreras's request. Oh. Ah! There he is. Can I help you? Hello. Shit, is he serious? A 25% increase in weapons is doable, but a 50% increase in ammunition is nuts. Just don't have the supplies on hand to meet that kind of demand for new weapons. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. Ooh, barter of 80. That's kind of intense. Gunrunners are skilled enough to refurbish weapons like new, right? You're overthinking this. You're right. I suppose we could refurbish used and damaged weapons to fill the order. They'll be in like new condition, and then we can use our loader to make fresh ammo from spent brass. We'll have to wait a few days for gunpowder, but this might just work out. Tell Contreras the extra guns and ammo will be in the next shipment. Sweet. Alright, so that's technically an unmarked quest, but I did want to... Oh, okay, we were going to talk to Ranger Morales. Um, we figured out what was going on with Corporal White. Oh, I did get everything for the food processor. Meat vendor. Um, might try Fitz. He has a small shop. A couple of the merchants. Ruby Nash and Prim. Uh, Crimson Caravan. Okay. I think I know where these people are. Who's Fitz? If I'm remembering correctly... It's Fitz? Let's go to Crimson Caravan first, because I know that we can talk to one of the dudes there. About, I think, the spices. Oh, I know that we also haven't talked to Alice McLafferty yet, so we could talk to her about some quests, too. Hey there. Hello. Look at uh, my current needs a regular shipment of Brahmin meat and spices for the mess hall. Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. Sweet. The bigger issue is payment. To oh. supply the camp with meat will cost some serious caps. Um. Give them a deal on the price, and you'll have up an upper hand in the future. Well, the Fargo traders have been trying to edge us out on the new armor contract for the troops. This could swing things in our favor. All right, let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Me too, Foxtrot. She's got some good ones. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Lafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing. That's Hello. Hey, girl. 
Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for work. I'm, I'm the afraid main character. we have no current openings for caravanners what? or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Oh, nice. I can run. Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Oh, perfect. I was heading there anyway. It's been a pleasure. Let's go. Sweet. Okay. And then what did the notes say? Oh, okay. So we, th these are just the options we have. <laughs> That's okay, Foxtrot. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice that you miss. You wrote an extra her. Uh, I have ADHD, so I tend to read things badly. Um, so if somebody makes like a mistake in their spelling, I usually don't even notice it. <laughs> so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to Ed, my love, at some point. I also want to work with Rex. We have a bunch of companion quests to do. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to Novak really quick because I stored all of the food processor parts here. I actually went off stream yesterday just to find the the parts that I needed because I knew it was going to be obnoxious otherwise. Am I seriously? <laughs> what am I holding that's so heavy? I guess I'm holding a lot of... I don't really need... I don't really need Lucky. I picked up Lucky somewhere. I don't even remember now. But I do want to keep all of these. I'll put away Benny's suit. I don't really need that. Um, Dino toy, Natch. I can put away some of these unique assets that I got from the... The mod. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know why I'm so so overweight here. Oh, it's probably the it's probably the ammo, isn't it? I have a lot of ammo. Okay, magnums. Yeah, that's a lot of ammo, isn't it? I want to hold the bottles because I want to fill them up with water. Okay. That will that should be... Glass pitchers. Okay, that's good. That, that'll get us to a point where we can drop up the stuff at the Karen. Alright, we're good, we're good. I hate managing inventory. <laughs> it's so obnoxious. Alright. We got to talk to the Thank lady... You. Oh my gosh! Holly! Thank you for gifting a sub to Foxtrot. You are so wonderful. Thank you so much. Foxtrot, enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much. We're going to talk to Hildern. We're going to drop off the parts. And we're going to talk to the lady whose husband died. <laughs> I love the Bilbo emote. I love the pet the Bilbo. Oh, and we gotta talk to uh, Contreras. <laughs> no! <laughs> he deserves all the pets. Did you start looking for Esteban? Hey, girl. I guess my directions could have been better. You're fine. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. Thank you so much. You know, 
This is unmarked quest. And obviously she says that. She says, Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste. But he's still gone, you know? Like, obviously she says, Oh, you can come to me if you need anything. I wonder if you can actually come to her with anything. Like, do you... Can you actually... Go to her with... Like, saying you need something? I, I, I'm just curious about that. Hello. Howdy. Looking for Chow? Always. You managed to swing us a discount and cover the majority of the meat supply we need. Good work. Alright, now hopefully these soldiers can have less, less stinky toots. Wait, are you saying my repair is at 80 right now? Howdy. How is my repair at 80? No. Yeah, no, my repair was nowhere near 80. I don't know where my... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's like, why is it giving me that option? Howdy, looking for Chow? Hello. Amazing. I thought that thing was done for. That'll help me transform what I can offer the troops. I'll give you a little extra discount the next time you buy food from me. Thanks again. You're welcome. Actually, I'll take... Do you have... Ooh, he does have water. Oh my lord, he has all of the vegetables in the whole world. No, I think we're fine. Alright. And then we gotta talk to Contreras. And then after that, we can go and talk to Hildern. Dang, we're only... We're less than an hour in. We're already doing so much. So you're back. So I am. Uh, Isaac said they'll have the extra guns and ammo in the next shipment. Very professional. I like that. Maybe you can handle something bigger. Ayo? Great. The Crimson Caravan has something ready for me. Look for Blake and let him know you're picking up Contreras' medical supplies. Ooh. Thanks. Don't come back until you have it. Crimson Caravan is just northeast of the Gunrunners. Blake's usually in the main office. I literally just talked to him, but yeah. No biggie. <laughs> I love the tentacle next to the cute uwu emote. It's very good. <laughs> Enter the lurk zone to play Zelda. Have so much fun. Thanks for hanging out. May all your Koroks be Yahaha. I think Hildern is over here. Ooh, we got heavy troopers. That's cool. Hello. Oh, yeah, you're... <laughs> A pleasure to meet you. Hello. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? This guy is such a sleazeball, and I hate his chin. Uh, I have an invoice for you, actually. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation, even out here in the Waste. Wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Well, now that you mentioned Vault 22, what's up? Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. <laughs> Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. Oh, she's a poet. And all of this, all this, 
requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand? We need only reach out and take it, and for that, I need you. Okay. That's kind of sound hard to believe. Skepticism can be forgiven, but I think you'll come around if the reports I've heard are true. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right, why not? Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. Okay. I can authorize your payment from That's OSI us. accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your pip boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Uh, anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. Don't it's sass a simple me. question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your pip boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Of course. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. All right. This player has the shiniest gloves I've ever seen on any human. And honestly, good for him. Oh, did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Hello. Yeah, he asked me to go to Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Hi, Sky. How's it going? Uh, no, he didn't mention anybody. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Yeah, sure, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Right. Good luck. Glad to hear it, Sky. New Vegas has been great. We've been doing actually quite a few quests. Uh, we've been busy. Now, I don't know if I want to go... I, I don't think I want to go and do their Stands of the Grass just yet. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and continue with Alice at the moment. We're just doing some quests around New Vegas. Kind of figuring out what we're up to. Um, I do want to try to do some companion quests today. Which means Rex, potentially Edie. Uh, we're basically actually almost done with Edie. Uh, and her quests. And then, of course, we have Arcade. If I can get his quest to activate. Oh, you know what I just remembered? <gasps> I actually don't think we can activate Arcade's quest yet because I don't think it activates until... Oh, I just remembered! His quest doesn't fully activate until we get to a certain point in the main quest. Oh, I forgot about that until just now. Okay. Well, we might uh, send Arcade away for a little bit and go pick up Veronica then. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Here you go. 
Let him know he needs to make another payment if he wants more of this stuff. Medical I love that it's just medical supplies. Well, painkillers are easy to come by, but it isn't easy finding iodine, allergy meds, and oh. a few of these other items. Why do you ask? Ooh. Science or medicine, basically all that stuff could make some drugs. Really? Huh. Never thought of that. The Crimson Caravan isn't really in the drug business. Yeah, I guess it sounds like he's not really in the know with what Contreras is up to, but that's fine. It's Contreras' business. Welcome back. Hello. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? You meant to download it but forgot to? I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend it. If you want, I can send you the list of mods that I'm using, because I think they're good beginner mods, too. Or maybe I'll put them in the, the Discord. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, do you have any more work? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's oh. manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Ooh. Okay. Tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, oh, Cassidy. Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Yeah, she's another companion we can get. All right, what about uh, Henry Jameson? The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. <laughs> he was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Okay, and then the gun runner job? The quality of the Gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process, which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone, if it can be helped. Okay. Thank you. Was there something else? So you can basically outright just say no to the Gunrunner job because it is really risky. Um, you basically can't get into the Gunrunner uh, HQ without breaking a lock and sneaking. And if you get spotted, you're like, shoot on sight. So you don't have to do it. Which is nice if that's not your jam. Um, I'm going to do it though because I'm a ruthless mercenary. Yes, yeah, Sky, I'll put them in the Discord later. I'll put a list. Um, okay. I think that's everything we needed from her. Now, here's the thing. Now that I remembered that we can't really help Arcade. What's up? I think I'm actually going to let him go. And he can go back to the... Old Mormon Fort for now. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Oh, oh. Oh, I can send him to Lucky 38. Yeah, actually, go to Lucky 38. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. I like sending my companions to Lucky 38 because it's just kind of nice to have them all in, in one place. Um, I could really use a water source to refill my bottles. See if I can find a, a hard pump boss, somewhere. But she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Okay. Um, 
But that being said, since we can't do his quest right now, I do want to go pick up Veronica. Because Veronica is super fun and can do a lot of... Give us a lot of insight. Oh my lord, it's dark. We met her a while ago, but we haven't taken her with us, because last time we met her, we had Boone. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? I know, I love Veronica. Good. I'd hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Yeah, sure. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. <laughs> well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? No, oh, I love her. I absolutely will find her address. Absolutely. Welcome to the 188 slop and shop. Oh God. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Not it's better than nothing. God. Okay. It's a little bit more cred. Okay. Now, Veronica can come with us on our adventures. Where the heck are we going? We have a bunch of things we can do. Oh, that's right. We got to talk to Cassidy. Okay. So right now we're doing You Can Depend On Me. And then, yeah, Heartache by the Number. Heartache by the Number is her companion quest, I think. Um, but for now, we're not going to do any of her quests. We're just going to work with Veronica for now. So. I do need to make sure to remember to get her a dress. Really nice dress. She deserves it. She's been through a lot. West added Caesar's higher. Ooh. Ooh, the veteran rangers are in. Okay. Things are getting serious. I think she should be in here. Yeah, apparently she f never freaking sleeps. <laughs> you come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? I love her. She's so pretty. They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. What happened to your caravan? <sighs> Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. Why not? If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Okay, that's fair. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer letter. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. I really do sympathize with her because, you know, even though her, like, life's work is destroyed, it, it would be really hard to let that go, you know? Especially when it's kind of all she has right now. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. Oh, that's mean. If you made the caravan, you're responsible for killing it. 
This outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. Yeah, because otherwise she's just going to be stuck here. That's why she's here in the first place. That... That's a good point. It's the caravan Clarence that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. Aw. Poor Cass. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Uh, you could come with me? You got one too many by my count. All right, so that basically means we can only have one human follower at a time. So, we'll we'll be we'll be coming back to her at some point. She can uh, she can stick around here though. She'll Nelson's she'll be fine. Back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Is there a sink, or perhaps a urinal that I can drink from, as I am desperately and terribly dehydrated? Parkour. I know. I know, right? Foxtrot, it's so frustrating. All right. We're just going to get rads, which is fine. First recon's at Camp Forlorn Hope. Now we've got a chance to hold Let me it. out. Release me. Okay. <laughs> just... Oh, actually, can you repair my stuff? Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example. Um, oh, actually, look at that. My stuff is in pretty good condition right now. Uh, I will bump up my sniper, though. More than you already have? Might want to ask around, but truth is, you've already helped out a lot in the short time you've been here. Oops. The Ranger vet. Okay. Now, next on the docket is. Oh, we gotta go to the Atomic Wrangler and talk to Jameson, Bob. I think his name is. I will. Hopefully, if I have the time, I'll do Heartache by the Number today. But for now, I do want to try to do Veronica's quest since we have her. Arcade will probably have to be the last companion quest we do, unfortunately. Hey. Just the fool? Yeah. Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. You have the brightest hair I've ever seen. Fuck no. No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? Ooh, okay, so if you have high enough reputation with the NCR, let's say I get the word to your parents. So basically blackmail him. Uh, speech 50, I blackmail him uh, in a different way with the Omeritas. Um, if you don't have any of those, you can do some kind of deal. But I'm just going to do the speech check because charisma. Yes, Sky, <laughs> truly. <laughs> he really is. He, Yuri is the, uh, actually the main character, like, the main character voice. Um, but yeah, Yuri is also a ton of other extra NPCs. What? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. Ring a ding. Level up! Sweet. What are we looking at? Sneak and survival? Yeah, so the main character doesn't actually have any, like, dialogue, but all of the, like, grunts and yells and stuff that the, the main character does, uh, that's Yuri. <laughs> Hmm. 
What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Ooh, Grim Reaper Sprint is always fun. Eye for an eye. We don't need Explorer. I don't think I want Atomic. Um, what do you guys think? Do you have any recommendations? Silent Running could be good if I try to keep sneaking. And stay back would be good if I used shotguns, but I'm kind of sticking to pistols and snipers. We could always go toughness again. Shotgun surgeon. Lead belly could actually be good considering how much food and water we consume. Travel light is nice, but I'm always going to be wearing like medium armor at this point. Run and gun. You know, actually entomologist might be worth it since we might be going into Vault 22 soon. Uh, rapid reload. Ooh, you know, I like rapid reload. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do Rapid Reload for now, and then I might do Grim Reaper Sprint next time. That's hilarious, though, that it's so broken. There's a couple names that the Volat Dev stuck with. Robin's voice actor from Teen Titans? Is that right? Wait, really? Oh, Oliver Swanick, you mean? The lottery guy? I don't actually know. Um, I'm not familiar with his name. Also, I can't exactly remember where to take Veronica, so I'm just going to bring her into a couple of places. Okay, I wasn't sure if this was one of the places. I know you can take her to McCarran, the Strip, places like that. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. Anyway. The booze is cheaper, the table's <laughs> just... more friendly, and the I don't even... Ah, uh, stop talking. Really dead. Stop by the Please, I'm scared. Oh, I forgot my, this, the mod, one of the mods that I got. Some of these, uh, some of these buildings are open now. Oh, I want to go into Cherry Liquor. What the heck? Uh... Let me in. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, oh god. Get him, Veronica. Get him. buddy what a way to go holy cow there's no way there's no way what in the dude there's so much stuff here what the what it's actually kind of impossible i can take the tv set let's go it's kind of insane to me that this place would be untouched for so long. Like, this is even a lot for... Vanilla. Oh, there's so much booze! There's so much booze and there's cigarettes. All this stuff I can sell. This would be great for selling. 
Yeah, this is an extra interior. I'm not going to take too much of this stuff because it is a little bit broken, but... You know, if I need more money later, well, I can always come back. Hello? Anybody else here? Oh! How cute! Monthly sales data. That's fun. Lots of cigarettes. Holy cow. Some scrap. More alcohol. Like, a butt ton of alcohol. Uh, Eventide Security Systems. Welcome Cherry Liquor and Store employees. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so maybe this was like the break room up here. Can you set up a home in this game? Sort of? Um, you can do a, like, you can get certain, certain, like, locations in the wasteland that can become yours. I guess the most, like, customizable one, actually the only customizable one is the Lucky 38 suite. And you can actually buy, like, extras for it. Oh, thank you, Sky. I appreciate that so much. I, uh, I have a different PNG tuber for every every game. Sorry, I have the hiccups. My gosh. Did I get the skill books on the strip? Yes, I believe so. Um, I might have missed a few. Uh, just a note to remind you that we will be leaving on the 10th for Washington, D.C. and return on the 28th. All of our contact numbers are on the list in the cash register. I am proud to announce Jimmy Kemp's is Employee of the Month. He will receive a, wa a $100 bonus, a day off with pay, and his choice of two bottles. Betty and I would like to thank Jimmy for his dedication and excellence to service to Cherry Liquor. Hi, everyone. Due to another year of record profits and the new... Wow, this this place is re was really bumping. We landed... Uh, an exclusive contract with Lucky 38. Bill and I are pleased to inform you that <laughs> all these years there'll be a 15% uh, raise, healthcare plan, now covered dental. This is, this is like surprisingly uh, upbeat. Oh no, not closing reminder. Oh, when closing at night, please remember to put all cash uh, and store opens in the safe. Uh, as you guys know, we've been robbed a few times, which is a few times too many for me, so I've paid to have Eventite Security come in. They'll be installing new locks, cameras, bars around the counter. Okay, by the way, when you guys come to the house for a Christmas party, don't be alarmed, Eventide. Uh threw in a free bot for the house. That's funny. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. Honestly, this is that's really nice for them. They seem to have been doing really well. I'm kind of waiting for like some kind of twist to happen, but I don't think there is going to be one. Yeah, in the, uh... Oh, Jimmy Kemp's? Sorry, boss. What? What happened to Jim? James? Yes, I did get those. J Jimmy? <gasps> Rant? I don't remember where this ransom note is from. Sorry, boss. When the shit hit the fan, I ha held up in shop to make sure nobody ripped you off. Days turned to weeks. I had to eat and drink. I'll pay you back if I make it through this. If I don't take it for my last paycheck. Oh, was that after the bombs fell? Well, that's, that's sad. <laughs> Some free mags here. I'll take them. Oh, that's really sad. I'll have to remember to come back come back there.
Get him, Rex. Good boy. Thank you, Sky. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't. Um, I only recently discovered the uh, the glory of PNG tubing because before before the like moving PNG uh, stuff was a thing for stream. I was I just had like a static PNG, um, which is fine. It was very cute. I do technically have a camera that I use sometimes, but I like the PNG tuber. I think it adds a lot of uh, character to the stream. Plus I can put my myself in fun outfits. Hey, you oh there. My I God. have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Bro. What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. Oh, we haven't actually met Mr. House in person yet. <laughs> Had a program for it like two days ago. That's exciting. Do you have plans? Do you have like a character you're gonna be using? Okay, why am I here? I kind of forgot. Oh, I just got distracted. That's what happened. <laughs> He was what? <laughs> yeah, he may may or may not have a couple of uh, robot ladies that hang out with him. <laughs> Finally, a sniper rifle mod. Been hacking looking for those. Wow, I can really afford to get rid of some of these doctor's bags, huh? Jet. I don't really need that much jet. Maze. Steady. I'm so bad. I'm always hoarding, like, drugs and things in this game, and then I never use them. Like, I do sometimes, but not very often. Not often enough, anyway. Um, okay. So, I do want to try to sneak into this place. Rex, stay here. Veronica. Should have brought some. Stay. Been doing it for like a year and a half now, just getting more than the static. <laughs> MF was so bitchless, he made his own. That's so funny. I love Veronica. She's definitely one of my favorite characters in this game. Um. Pardon me while I just... Honestly, y'all, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a stealth boy. Why not, right? So, we do have to pick this lock. That was easy. There are guards. We are officially in the forbidden the forbidden part of this area. Um, we are absolutely not supposed to be here. Uh, but that's okay. We just have to uh, sneak on in. Nobody minds if the door opens. And then we just have to download. Seriously, can we stop calling the Vendatron a Vendatron? Let's give the thing a proper name, like Bob. We're not calling it Bob. <laughs> we'll vote on it at the end of the week. Please, please, please come up with something decent. Ooh. Persona non grata. One of the Crimson Caravan guards identified as Robert Wilson decided it would be funny to take a shot at our Vendatron. He's lucky he didn't get a 308 through his idiot skull. 
We're currently negotiating with Lafferty for reparations. But in the meantime, we just need to update the Vendatron's recognition software to filter out all Crimson Caravan employees. <laughs> we'll also need to pull some strings over at McCarran to get them temporarily barred from purchasing ammo there as well. They're freaking wrecked. Alright, that's all we needed. That's literally it. There, I don't even see any guards around. We could probably steal some crud if we wanted to. Oh, it's not even stealing. What? Wow, that was the easiest heist in the entire world. Alright. Half a year, not a year and a half. I'm nowhere near that good. Sorry, I can't I can't read. <laughs> Aw. That's cool though, Sky. I love that. I sold all the food. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I, um, I've been looking for some extra ways to maybe make some, like, money on the side. Just because, like, I don't know, just to have some extra spending money. And I've been thinking about offering PNG tuber, like, commissions. Maybe on Etsy or something. Um, Our guys put the monorail back to work. I don't know. I think it could be kind of fun as long as people are into my, like, you know, art style. Welcome back. All right, I have the Gunrunner holotape. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Let's go. All right, and then Cassidy Caravans has been bought out. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. And we dealt with Henry Jameson. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then Black again, mail, babe. perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. All right, anything else? Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. All right. Ooh, idolized with the NCR. Very nice. You know this mission? Do you really? That's awesome. Hey there. You looking to buy or sell? Oh, you'd use something like mine? Really, Foxtrot? Oh, that's very sweet, Sky. Yeah, no, there's absolutely no, no pressure to, you know, buy anything for me or can do. I I'm just glad to honestly have people hanging out here. It's been so fun. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do it. I don't know. I've been kind of hesitant to do it because just my health has been so up and down recently. Uh, service rifle. Okay. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Yeah, make them pay for peace. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. 
So I'm just looking at some of the triggers for Veronica's quest because I can't quite remember all of them. probably have to go around doing I, yeah, I'm actually not sure if we're going to be able to do her quest full stop today uh, we'll see how how long I stream uh, for now might as well just continue on with this quest right speak with her that's a good idea should have brought some aww that chip of yours? I wouldn't wager it on Blackjack. Yeah, no kidding. Unless the dealer has a five or six showing. Uh, tell me about yourself. I like long walks in the desert and candlelit metal workshops. Uh, what are your goals? I want... Oh! A dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Girl, I will get you a dress. I got you. There are a couple of dresses you can give her that will like activate her like dialogue or whatever. I think the best one you can give her is actually Vera Keys's dress from Dead Money. Which obviously we'll give to her once we get it. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. Alright, fair enough. Can I make it up? Sure. You can ask her if she's ever been in love. Ever been nosy? Always. I was. Once. We were pretty young, but I like to think it was love. Oh, Christine. She left the Brotherhood. Wanted to put some distance between herself and her parents. Since our membership isn't open to outsiders, some members think that obligates all of us to procreate. You can guess which camp her parents belong to. Boo. No. Couldn't bring myself to leave everyone else behind. Couldn't convince her to stay, either. I'd hoped love would be enough to influence her decision, but it wasn't. We were both too stubborn. Mm. I don't know where she is now, but I'm sure she's moved on. I still think about her, though. Once in a while. <laughs> I wish we could give Veronica the love that she desperately deserves. Yeah, exactly, Sky. Honestly, that's why I started streaming in the first place. I started streaming, I think, in 2020. Um, I just kind of got inspired by a bunch of streamers, and I was stuck at home, you know, because of the pandemic. So being able to stream video games and meet people who liked the same games as me is like, it, it really has been so much fun. Honestly, like, I, I would love to make this, like, my full-time job if I could. Or at least a part-time job, you know? Ask about the Brotherhood? Okay. Um. If you take trying to keep me as far away from Hidden Valley as possible because I ask too many difficult questions as a sign of respect, oh yeah. <laughs> That's not to say I don't get along with them. I just think they don't know what to do with me sometimes. Yeah, Sky. Yeah, it's it's been really fun. I started out streaming Subnautica, I think. I, I met one of my best friends on here, Alex. You'll see him around. He's amazing. He's been my friend since, basically since I started streaming. So, and I've met so many cool people. Like, y'all have been so much fun to talk to. I just love it. It's such a great way to meet, meet new friends and online buddies and stuff. In my opinion, there's something really unique about having online friendships. Like, I do feel like it's different than IRL friendships, but it's it's also unique in a great way, you know? All right. Uh, do you have any other family in the Brotherhood? Just my parents, but they haven't been around for a long time. Dad was a paladin, mom was a scribe. 
They died in the same battle, trying to hold off the NCR from... something. I don't remember what it was. Guess it seemed important at the time. Oh, thanks, Sky. That's very sweet. Like what? Oh, is there some place you wanted me to take you? No, we're specific. I just know there are a lot of groups who are actually doing well for themselves out here. I want to understand how and why. See them at work. Okay. That gives me a good basis, I think. You did, Sky. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually met one of my best friends on, like, a Facebook group in 2010, if you can believe that. Oh, guys! I forgot! One of the greatest characters in this whole freaking game. Do I even have enough bottle caps? I have 38. I don't know how many you need, though. Let's see if Festus will tell us. Hi, CJ. How's it going? Oh no, you killed a quest Please person. Step into the open and identify oh yourself. no, that's the worst. Citizens have nothing to fear. I hate it when that happens. Every time my companions Please have died, I've I had to reset. And identify yourself. Right, I'm abiding citizens have nothing to fear. I'm gonna try to find this robot because he's kind of making my companions freak out. This area clear. Proceed with search. Um what? Hello? Oh. Ooh, get it, girl. Makes you feel so young. I know, right? Makes me feel old. <laughs> ah! Robo dog. How did you guys get upstairs? I can't even find my way upstairs. <laughs> Where did you guys go? Oh, this way. Here we go. Rex, Rex boy, where are you? There he is. Okay, we're good. Did we destroy? Did we? Did we get rid of all the bad guys? Yeah. All right, I think we're good. reason I remember this is because you watched a video essay on a while ago. Oh, fun! Dude, I love video essays. Who have I been watching recently? Okay, he doesn't do video essays, but he does do a lot of um, interesting Fallout-related videos. I've been watching It's Jabbo, or I guess Jabbo is just his name, um, on YouTube. I, I've really been enjoying watching his, uh, his Fallout stuff recently. And then I, 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 there's some other video essay people I like. One of my favorite just Fallout creators in general is um, Many a True Nerd. If you like Fallout content uh, and for funny British men, uh, he's the one for you. TK's Mantis. That name is familiar. Why do I know that name? I love that. Yeah, I will literally just put on video essays and just have them on while I'm working and just vibe. And they're so, they're like so great to keep my attention, you know? How the heck do I leave this area? Yes, Foxtrot. They're so fun. I love learning all kinds of weird, strange lore. Okay, I'm trying to get back to the front. I am a little bit lost. <laughs> okay, wait, is this it? No. Do not attempt to flee. <laughs> I love the Easter eggs. Hello? Parkour. Okay, 
Okay, this is not where I want to be. I want to go talk to Festus. <laughs> I cannot. I can't seem to make my way back to the front. Festus? No. Oh wait, actually, I do want to activate Mr. Janitor. Um, average. Hi, just Frodo. What's up? Sarsaparilla facts. The only thing I know about the only fact, quote unquote, I know about sarsaparilla is that it's like made from a root. The sarsaparilla, it's like a root, right? There's licorice root and then there's sarsaparilla root. I think. You know what? I said that like it was a fact and then I immediately was like, I think. <laughs> like, I actually don't know. <laughs> Oh, see, Just Proto is coming in with the, the real facts. Sarsaparilla was the original root in root beer. Discontinued due to be found to be carcinogenic. God. Replaced with sassafras. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, when we talk to Festus, he'll have some interesting things to say about Sunset Sarsaparilla. Wasn't this recipe for soda one in the bed or something? I'm actually not sure. The only places in the world that drink root beer are heavily influenced by the U.S. The rest of the world hates root beer. They drink it in Okinawa, but nowhere else in Japan. Really? That's fascinating. Clark Weathers, VP of Operations, subject water leak. Body. Just letting you guys know, we've had reports of a possible small water leak in the upstairs meeting room. The long-term effects of water damage can be very, very expensive, so let's get this problem solved. Kenneth Aguilar. I wanted to personally congratulate you on the success of the new automated janitorial system. In particular, number 135 has proven very popular with the staff. I can't tell you how many complaints I used to hear about stray bottle caps getting into the machinery. Oh, we should have a meeting soon considering the rest of your staff. House Tuesday. Okay. Get that maintenance worker working. Go, my boy. Be free. I see my services are required once more. It's about time. I love this guy. He's so cute. He's here to help us clean up. Oh my. This place is filthy. Them <laughs> shit stays like cough syrup. It's amazing how much dust collects if you leave things alone, even for a short while. Worker number 27438 ah. reporting. There seems to be a malfunction with the light, sir. Oh, that scared me. Wait a minute. You're not my manager. Ah. Intruder! Ah. No. Uh-oh. No. Wait. It doesn't have to be this way. We could be friends. That was so loud. I'm so sorry, my friend. Maybe in another life. Really? Someone should have called me earlier. Alright, I'm literally gonna take all the sarsaparilla that I possibly can. I need every bottle I can get my hands on. Empty, empty, empty. Oh. This room is even worse than the last one. Little caps. So, okay. Gosh, there's just freaking empty bottles. I wonder how many unique empty bottles there are in this this area. That would be really interesting to know. Okay. Let's try to make our way back to the front um, while the worker is cleaning up. I'm gonna steal this surprisingly fresh apple. How the heck am I gonna get back to the front? <laughs> I'm so lost. I 
<laughs> I'm so lost. Oh no, I'm so very lost. Oh. Holy balls, that was, what just happened? What? <laughs> that, that was like an explosion. Okay. Oh, look, he's done. Ooh, 553 bottle caps. You love to see it. I didn't know this for the freaking longest time, but if you, yeah, if you activate the janitorial robot, he goes and collects bottle caps throughout the entire area and then puts them in this garbage can. I never knew that until like a few weeks ago. <laughs> okay, here's the front office. Holy cow, that took us a while to get back. This dungeon can be a little bit confusing. Okay, but I love cherry soda. Can we just... Okay, do we have a favorite... Do we have a favorite flavor of soda? Because I like cherry soda. I also like grape soda, which I feel like people are gonna... That's gonna be a little bit contentious. <laughs> because I feel like I know a lot of people who don't like grape flavored things because it tastes like medicine or whatever which is true but grape soda is different grape soda is is good um i also do like a cream soda but a cream soda is usually for me more like i'll put it in with like some ice cream or something otherwise i feel like it's too sweet okay we have 68 sunset sarsaparillas how many star bottle caps do we think we're gonna get Let's go. I'm going to say at least four. Two? Okay. Sugar overload. Yeah, I'm surprised my character isn't dead. Although she is uh, dehydrated now. Or he even. Lurking for a little? No worries. I wasn't even counting. I didn't even see if we had got any star bottle caps yet. All right. While that is happening in the top left corner, let's talk to Festus. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Ready to go up a stool and listen to old Festus jaw a while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you. And we'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Oh, perfect. Foxtrot, you're right. Okay, we'll check after this is done <laughs> processing. Uh, I love Festus. Festus is such a cool character to me because he's a completely unique uh, character model. He's got completely unique animations. He's got a unique voice. He's like... He's so cool to me. Like, the fact that they put this in the game and didn't just make it, like, I don't know, a robot behind a screen or something. Or, like, an AI. The fact that they made him, like, an actual, like, moving... Ah, oh, I just love it. It's so cool. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what Sunset Sarsaparilla stars are, and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say Star Info. And you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, say I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say Silly Old Advisory. Okay, this is one of my favorite things in this entire game. Silly old advisory. I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Silly old advisory. I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand that. Could you repeat it? Silly old advisory. While Sunset Sarsaparilla <laughs> is perfectly safe, a recent independent study, whose validity is currently being challenged, revealed the following. Excessive ingestion of sarsaparilla can lead to deleterious effects, including, but not limited to, kidney Oh, damage, God. Nausea. Digital <laughs> numbness. Okay. Anxiety. Okay. Loss of visual acuity. Death. 
dizziness. Occasional nosebleed. Only occasional? Joint inflammation. What? Tooth decay. Well, naturally. Sore throat. Wrong time. <laughs> organ Not organ rupture. And halitosis. Note that you'd have to drink a heap of sunset sarsaparilla to match the quantities used in the study. <laughs> How much, you ask? A lot. Well, here's the thing, Proto. Um, I did actually drink about 64, 65 bottles, so this might be the end of old Gene. <laughs> also, halitosis is just gum disease. I don't know why they didn't just say gum disease, but I guess they wanted to sound fancy. I don't know. 68! Good lord! <laughs> Oh yeah, he does kind of remind me of Harold. Yeah, because Harold had a unique character model. How are your kidneys? Um, I think they're okay so far. Uh, I am a little bit dehydrated. So maybe if I just have some... Do I have water? Do I have, like, actual water? I don't even know if I have actual water. Um, I have whiskey. That'll help, obviously. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got- we oh, are you serious? We only got two star bottle caps from like 60, 68 bottles of soda? <laughs> That's really unlucky. Alright. Now, I don't remember if it's 30 or 50 star bottle caps, um, but let's go ahead and talk to him and see. Howdy, partner! Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company! I love your mustache. Oh my god. Or <laughs> bad news is you have internal bleeding. Good news is blood is supposed to stay inside your body. <laughs> Told you it's two? You're right. We love to see it, Foxtrot. You know what's up. Um, does anything happen if I win this? I feel lucky. If this is your first rodeo with the old horseshoes, say how do I play? Otherwise, say lucky horseshoes. I don't think I really need to learn how to play. I'm just gonna say it. All right, let's play, partner. Press the blue button to draw a card. Okay. The red button to hold, or the yellow button to quit. Is this like blackjack? Okay, blue draw button. Looks like you got a two, partner. Yeah, you're doing well, but old Festus ain't out of this yet. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a seven, partner. See that? Is this like blackjack? I, I, you know, I should have listened to the. I actually don't know how to play this game. <laughs> Looks like you got a three, partner. Okay, so five You're total. About to toss better than that, partner. Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got a three, partner. See that? Old Festus is an old. Looks like you have. Looks like. Looks like. I actually don't know what the Looks point like of this is. Looks like oh I'm no! Like okay. I'm actually not sure. I think I'm, I'm going to assume that's sort of like blackjack. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me the star info. Oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there? And what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows. Except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking sunset sarsaparilla. Okay, so now I should get the quest. The Legend of the Star. 
But how many is it? How many do I need? Oh, it just says return with enough of them. Howdy, partner! Uh, deposit stars. Oh. Stars, ain't you? Okay. Scratch up a few more and the prize is yours. Okay, so I think well, what in the Sam Hill are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I do think we need fifty, so we need ten more. Um, but that shouldn't be hard to find in the next leg of the game, honestly. Okay. So while we're here, we wanted to disable the it's 50? Okay. I know, Proto. Honestly, it's one of my it's one of my favorite quests in the game because it's so hyped up. It's it's absolutely hilarious to me. I just I love it. Especially if you le read all the lore sort of around it. Like if you read all the terminal uh, like entries and things. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, there's got to be more. There's at least one more in here. Come on. What the heck? I'm not a pro hacker after all. Oh, CJ, I wish. I wish so badly for a remaster. Honestly, the, the New Vegas, like the original New Vegas is charming. But gosh, I would, I would do anything for New Vegas in the Fallout 4 engine. And I know that that's being made in, into a mod. Okay, it doesn't end in ED. Perfect. 300 more? I could probably find 300 Sunset Sarsaparilla bottles. <laughs> now, do we think that reading or not reading uh drinking 300 at once would kill me because it actually would be so funny if that was a thing that they programmed into the game like if you drink too many at once you would actually die of like kidney failure <laughs> i kind of wish they did that uh i'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message i'm trying out a new diction headset margie uh margie the boss man just ordered some kind of newfangled robot that's supposed to take over some of your uh, deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it, but you should hear about it soon. I'll write again when I know more. Do not pass this along. Okay, Margie, you're using a diction headset, so you're literally saying this out loud for everybody to hear, but you don't want anybody to know about it. <laughs> Is it really a 5% drop rate? I have 10 luck. That's insane. Bethesda and Obsidian had a bad fight at the end of this. I think Obsidian has some rights in the game. Honestly, good for them. I, I honestly don't mind. I mean, obviously, I'm playing the game in 2023, and it still holds up. Like, if it doesn't ever get remastered into the Fallout 4 engine, that's that's fine. Like, I wish, I wish it would, and it didn't have to be a mod, but... Honestly, good on the modding community and the Fallout community for sticking it to Bethesda. Uh, we've got troubles. That hush hush experimental robot I told you about the other day. The damn thing is single handedly running all of our distribution in the New Vegas area now. Your boys aren't on temporary leave. It's permanent. Damn, the president wants to see me in his office. I'll finish this later. I have a feeling she, uh,. Very quickly lost her job. Okay, now how... How do I get onto the factory floor? I know this this dungeon is kind of weird. Um, I think it's through here.
Do, 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 do. How in the world do I get to the world? Where my sunset saps exist. Oh, I think I have to go up here and then down again. Yeah. There should be a... Should be a way to get down. Rex, Rex, please. Rex, my love. My sweet boy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, gosh darn it. Sure, mod is great, but it's all ones and zeros from a mod creator, an actual game from a game company, with new everything, new mechanic, mechanics, quests, maybe drivable vehicles, etc. is better. Yeah, honestly, I mean, like, because if, if you think about it, like, you know, mod creators are incredible because usually they're a very small team. They're working for no income, completely on passion, you know, and, uh, you know, passion doesn't pay the bills always, so it's a lot easier if you have a company that has money to spare, has big, um, uh, you know, departments of viz dev and animation and 3D modeling, you're going to get, you know, it's more likely that you're going to get a better outcome from them than from an independent team. Where do you guys think, like if you, okay, if you could choose one place for Fallout 5 to be, where would you pick? Because I think it would be really cool if we went abroad, like maybe to the United Kingdom or something. I know that like, obviously the, a lot of the standard uh, like lore revolves around the, the Americas but I think it could be cool if we went to like you know London or, or one of those bigger cities in the UK Glasgow something like that automated messages I get the feeling this is about the bombs falling, maybe? I don't know. Something about an intruder. Uh, restrooms. Let me ruin this for you, you get China! Okay, though, but like... Listen. That would actually be kind of cool. Like, if they got the appropriate types of people to work on that game that gets pretty badass to like see it from China's perspective especially because there was that one guy in Fallout 4 you like found his submarine and you got to help him that was such a cool quest I loved that quest because it gave you such a cool insight into somebody from China. Um, let's see. And like, you don't really usually get that because there's it's all, you know. It, you, we get such skewed uh, visuals of China because we are in the United States. You know it's Bethesda. All right, true, fair. <laughs> For Fallout Five, I think it would be uh, did see that coming in a good way moment. 
took place inside a different game. Like in one of the Metro games or a Stalker game? Ooh. Very interesting. Sir, the rumors are some kind of contest are quickly growing out of control. We're getting flooded with calls and messages asking if it's true. We're redeeming bottle caps for prizes. Do you want me to make an official statement denouncing this rumor? Kenneth, I hope you've been impressed thus far with your recent purchase. Your company has been and continues to be a valued customer. Contact me if you have any questions. Stanley, are you out of your mind? Have you seen the latest sales figures? We're up 300% since these rumors started. And you're asking if I want to make it stop? Please stop by my office so we can further discuss the issue. Marcus, I have a few ideas about how we can turn this whole contest situation to our advantage. I'm going to need you to work with an advertising guys on a very special project. A meeting request will be sent out soon. By the way, how do you feel about cowboys? <laughs> Lucas, I couldn't be happier with the performance of the new model. If its current performance is any measure, it promises to reinvent my company's entire distribution network. I'd like to attentively discuss purchasing a few more in the near future. How soon do you expect to be more available? So, of course, from this terminal, we learn uh, that the contest was completely on accident. Um, oh, wait, there's a key? Oh, I know what the key is. That's a different area. Okay. Yeah, we can't go in there just yet. Okay, we'll be coming back here for sure. Now, if I can just figure out how to leave. Oh, no. <laughs> Fallout 76. Y'all, I've never played Fallout 76. I I keep hearing conflicting... Conflicting? Conflicting things on if I should play it or not. Play games. Tui! Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, everybody? Hello, hello. What were you playing? Hold on one second. I don't think I have a mod available, so let me just. I keep forgetting to do shout outs for people who raid me, so let's do ASO. Oh no! My shout out command is not, <laughs> not viable. <laughs> Isn't that great? Well, I'll have to deal with that later, but Tui, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Y'all, Tui is a super awesome streamer, super kind. Streams a lot of Nancy Drew um, speedrunning at the Mo. They ruined Death Claws. It's done them good at that point. They How did they ruin Death Claws? What? How in the world? Doing a secret of the old clock run. What's the uh what's the timing? What's the timing on that? I feel like a secret of the old clock would take a while, but I could be wrong. Alright. Oh, I am once again over in cupboard. Oh, sub one hour, for sure. Hey, we love to see it. I really want to do another uh, Nancy Drew speed run. I don't... It's funny because... I like the idea conceptually of speed running. Um, but then... And I love like watching speed runs get done. But then when I like go to maybe like plan out my speed run, I get... I get all nervous. World, re world record is 52.51. Dang. That's Things really impressive. Stranger every day. We're playing some New Vegas today, y'all. But I also stream uh, tons of other games. I'm a variety streamer. Um, I stream anything from role-playing games, first-person shooters. Um, can I sleep in one of these beds? Oh, they're all taken. Oh, the thing is that they're all taken. Okay. Fine. 
Fine, I see how it is. I stream Nancy Drew, Animal Crossing, Pokemon. I'm hoping to do some more challenge runs uh, in the future for games like Pokemon and Nancy Drew. Uh, I really want to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke at some point really soon. Yes, New Vegas speedruns are hilarious. They're so funny. By the way, since nobody's here, I might as well just uh, peek into their safe a little bit, right? Okay, this is interesting. There's usually a document in here, but I guess it doesn't spawn until um, that quest gets activated, which is interesting. What is my karma at, I wonder? Because I've been stealing a lot of crud. I'm still good! I guess I've killed a lot of fiends. Plate 76 looks great at the time when it came out, but lately, because of all the bugs, it seems to be getting negative feedback from the gaming community. Well, I feel like that was... Wasn't it always super buggy since since launch day? But that's just better off with single-player games or co-op, at least. To play with friends better than a whole score. But yeah, I'm... I don't know. I, I just... It's... It's really hard because I think new uh, Fallout 76 has a lot of interesting ideas. Wow, you a troublesome leaving camp got raised <laughs> to the ground. You just took McLafferty's spot. What the heck? The NCR is fortunate to have your support. All right, Queen, go off. Welcome back. But yeah, just because of the nature of it being like an online game and a lot of the bugs and all of the microtransactions. Oh God, the microtransactions. It's just, there's so much, there's so many negatives to it. I just have never wanted to touch it, even though I'm such a huge Fallout fan. New Vegas, you know, they mostly lurk around with packs and stuff. Fallout 76 and 4, they're like damaging sponge. Big Boss is nothing to scare off. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't spawn until you do that? Okay, that's what I thought. All right, I dealt with the bottle cap press. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna sell some stuff. I have a couple things I can sell here. And then I think we're going to see if we can get Veronica to a couple of places hey there. that she's you wanting to go. There are a couple of triggers that I was looking at that I can't access anymore because I've already, like, talked to the people that, like, have that trigger, if that makes sense. Um, I'm saving my pre-war money for the casino. Do... So let's see, one of the places we can take Veronica is actually Vault 3, which I think is the one that's taken over by the fiends. Yeah, Vault 3. Brotherhood area might trigger the events. Yeah, I'm not totally sure because I know that she has some like dialogue that she'll Trouble. she'll give once we get into certain areas I'm hit. oh you better work queen Damn. oh go rex go yeah veronica punches crying out Good job, Rex. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, um, I think the Boomers is also another area, but we have not been up there yet. 
But we could probably take her up there. And then I think some of the Legion areas as well. Yeah, killing fiends actually gives you a ton of uh, good karma. Stop! Stop running! Sick him, Rex! more over here. I'm going to try to clear out this area as much as possible. Caution. When I find you, I'm going to eat your spleen. Not my spleen. Gotcha. Where are you? For the brotherhood. Oh. Ah! Oh Play Fallout New Vegas for the plot. Also nostalgia. The plot is fine. So you can pick different outcomes. More factions to side with. Yeah. Honestly, all of those are reasons that New Vegas is my favorite Fallout game. Um, I do hope to one day play Fallout 1 and 2. Just because even though they're very different, I feel like it's worth it as a fan. You know, just to at least experience them once. Wow, there's a lot of... I don't know if I realized all this crud was here. There's all these signs. It's like a sign graveyard. of gunplay and like as like a shooter or like a, an action an action shooter I think Fallout 4 is superior in that regard um, I do find like gunplay and like fights in this game really fun I just I feel like Fallout 4 just did it better you know there's something about the way that it feels in that game although I will say having the sprint mod does add to it for sure for me Okay, all these fools are feral. I think I can go into this area and not piss them off. But I'm pretty sure there's traps here. I'm going to be careful. Yeah, there's a trap right there. Rex, don't be a hero, Rex! Trouble. Rex, no! Rex, don't be here, Rex! Oh, God. Oh, there's a lot of fiends in here. Murderer, she says. I told you to not be a hero. Ugh. 
No, I will not stand for this. Can you wait for like two seconds, my dog? Adrenaline Junkie Rex. Sorry about Automod. Hold on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What have I done? Okay, that was scary. <laughs> oh. Veronica, my dear. We're gonna get exploded. Woo! Oh, she lived! Oh, hi, Mom. Okay, I'm back. My sweet mom is here visiting and she just got home. I just wanted to make sure I said hi. Guys, st no, stop running into the- I'm out of here. Take care of myself. Stop running into the mo the mines. No! Oh, my lanta. Ah. Yes, we do appreciate you, Automod, although you do make some silly decisions sometimes. Okay, we should be okay now. Um, none of our companions died, so we're, we're doing okay. <laughs> Realism, Fallout New Vegas with guns if you don't have the right skills to handle a firearm gun. Yeah, the way that they sway and stuff. I do like that a lot. Mm. Oh wow. This was not it for me, was it? Not bigotry being the <laughs> password. God. Uh, shipping invoice. kind of cool it's just about the the signs that they make Kevin dropped one of the glass tubes today while forming it he ended up with a nasty cut on his hand from the broken glass fortunately no one else was hurt I bandaged his hand and had him clean it up before sending him home one more accident like this and I may have to let him go kids too accident prone one of the elevators in the upper loading dock broke down again Unfortunately, Jonathan was inside waiting to unload and sudden stop caused one of the signs to slip off the pallet and he broke his leg. Oh no. Alright. Duke is a unique fiend. Um, but I don't think there's actually much else in here. Which is fine. We don't need to have an extensive dungeon every time. Okay. I think that'll do. Now for Vault 3. Oh my gosh, it's already almost 9 o'clock.
There we go. I always forget how worth worthwhile it is to come here or places like it to get for the brotherhood. Just like a ton of weapons and armor to sell. Alright, I think there's some guys behind there I'm gonna go grab. Rapid reload is really doing it for me, y'all. I am very satisfied with my purchase. Alright. In we go. Keep thinking about more good things about Fallout New Vegas other than what Fallout What the 4. fuck are you doing here? Ah! You got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? How are you balancing that on your head? Fall New Vegas is much more interactive with things like helping injured people in the world, a fixing generator, elevator, other than going to the build mode and chopping repair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, it's it's tough because I didn't necessarily mind the building in Fallout 4. I just felt like it could have been a different game, I guess. If you're fucking carrying, just fucking say so. Yeah. Chill. Deliver to the boss. Business as usual. Motor runners down in the maintenance wing. Straight through the door behind me, down the hall, down the stairs to the right. We have a con coming through to see the boss. Don't shoot at him. Now I think Veronica should have something to say here. Hello, everybody. I need something to take the edge off. Hello. Oh, I forgot I can just literally just take anything here. It's all... It's all free. Free for Maggie. Veronica, do you have anything to say? This poor place, they totally trashed it. I'm getting the shakes. I need something to take the edge off. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. Ooh. We're like an urban myth. No real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. The Brotherhood is living in the past. Eventually they'll have to change. I think you're right. We're getting desperate. Hardly enough people to sustain ourselves as a chapter. They'll see the light, sooner or later. But I get the feeling if I don't take matters into my own hands, the change won't come in time to make a difference. Okay. So, unlike with Boone or Arcade, they don't. she doesn't just come up to me and talk. You have to actually talk to her. I kind of forgot that that was a thing. Hey. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to call it here. A little bit of a shorter stream. But I am pretty tired. Um, I'm going to see if there's anybody else who's streaming New Vegas that I can send you to. Um, if you want to stick around for the raid, that'd be awesome. Support another streamer. Get some extra channel points. Love to see it. What do we have? Ooh, um, this person I sent you to the other day. She's playing New Vegas. Um, do, do, do. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. This has been so fun. I've really been enjoying this playthrough. <laughs> uh, oh, Alan. Stick around for the raid, get some extra channel points, which you can use to torture me <laughs> with various sound bites and things. 
Um, and I will see you guys again on Wednesday with some more new Vegas. I'll keep you guys updated in Discord and Twitter uh, if anything changes. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.